Hello friends, this is third part of how to display CSV file importing data process on progress bar, by using PHP script with Ajax. In previous part, we have seen how to start import data from CSV file, by using Ajax request with PHP script. So, now in this part, we will discuss how to display how many number of data are imported, on progress bar by using Ajax with PHP script. For this, we have go to index page, and here we have make one get import data function, this function will display number of data process on progress bar. Under this function, we have start create Ajax request, with first option URL set to process.php, it will send request to this file. After this, we have write success callback function, this function will be called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have defined one total data variable is equal to dollar with span tag id total data with text method. This code will fetch the text from span tag, which is total number of records in CSV file, which we have store under this total data variable. Below this, we have create with variable is equal to math.round function and under this function we have write data variable divided by total data variable into 100 this code will calculate the percentage value of width which we have store under width variable we will use this value for set progress bar width property now we have write dollar with span tag id process data with text method and under this we have write data it will display number of data process on progress bar for increase progress bar width we have write dollar with progress bar class with css method and under this we have write width property which has been set to value of width variable with percentage. This code will increase the progress bar width on web page, that means it will display data importing process on web page in progress bar. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write width variable value is greater than 100, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write clear interval function, and under this we have write clear timer variable, it will stop execute this get import data function. For remove progress bar from web page, here we have write dollar with division tag class process, with CSS method and under this, we have set display property with none value, it will hide progress bar from web page. Same way we want to clear file tag value, so here we have write dollar with input file tag id with value method, with blank value, it will clear file tag field. After this, we want to display success message, so here we have write dollar with span tag id message with html method, and under this we have write message like data successfully imported. This message will be display on web page after successfully CSV file data imported into database. Now we want to call this function, after csv file successfully uploaded, 
so we have go to form submit event success function. And here we have write, clear timer variable is equal to, set interval function, with two argument, in first argument we have write get import data function, and in second argument we have write 2000. This code will continuously execute, get import data function on every 2 second, until this clear timer variable value is not clear. Now we have go to process.php file, and here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nuke to class object. In first argument we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root, and password set to blank. After making database connection, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sample table. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable. This code will make query for execution. And for query execution we have write, dollar statement variable with execute method. Now we want to get total number of row from query execution, for this we have write echo statement, with dollar statement variable with row count method. This code will send total number of row to Ajax request as response, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, we can see sample form on web page, with file tag and import button. This is our CSV file in which we have store some data in this file for import into MYSQL database, we will import this data into MYSQL table. For this here, we have select that CSV file, and after selecting file, we have click on import button. After click on import button, on web page we can see that progress bar has been appear. Here we can see progress bar, on regular interval progress bar has been filled with color, which display data importing process. And on progress bar we can see total number of data in CSV file, and how many data are process, which we can display on above progress bar. After successfully importing of data, we can see success message on web page, that means data has been successfully imported, now we have go to database. Here also we can see CSV file data, which has been imported which we can see here, so that way we can display CSV file data importing process on progress bar, by using PHP script with Ajax and jQuery. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.